It's a grey day in Brighton. I was gonna go bouldering again today, but my arms are still really, I don't know what the word is, tight and just pumped, so I can't squeeze anything. I'm gonna do some editing. What's it take to call your brother? So that's the footage that I've got to download and they are TikToks and I'm going to show you how to edit some of them because some of them have some transitions which are quite hard to do and I feel like I've been skipping past each time so I'm actually going to go a bit more in depth today even though it's not a Sunday and learning an extra trick early. And I'm going to have a shower. Then I'm going to make a coffee. And then I'm going to wait until these downloads are done. piano training done i'm gonna do a little bit more off camera but they're the only things i can do semi-decent on camera but yeah the downloads have 20 minutes and maybe two out 11 hours left on that one but yeah i'm gonna get back to you when i'm on the edit but if you remember two days ago when i said i had some tiktoks to edit one of those done pretty well on uh instagram and tiktok so i'll play that now so you can see it in girl world Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and no other girls can say anything about it. The hardcore girls just wear lingerie and some form of animal ears. I'm pretty sure I have a few more like that today. So there's eight I have to do in total and I'm gonna try and show you as many of the complicated ones as I can because the simple ones I just don't need to show you. Now our first TikTok is one clip that goes in. Press X to mark it in and out. So. Drag the ends to there, take this off, take this off. Always add a bit of vibrance because TikTok kids love the vibrance, the colourful images. So yeah, add a bit of that and a tiny bit of contrast. And then watch over TikTok one more time just to be sure. That is TikTok number one done. That was one of the easier ones. They're not all like that. So yeah, let's get on to the next one. All right, I've just had a look. The next three TikToks are pretty easy to do. So I'm gonna quickly bang those out and then I'll get back to you on the next confusing one. This next one is a hand transition. If you see here, it swipes through the middle of the screen and I've got a really good trick to show you that will help to do this. You get your two clips that match up and then when you put them next to each other, when you do the drag split here, it puts them both next to each other. So now I can find the frames that look most similar. So now them two look good. If I put them together and press play. She would determine her pretty it's not bad. I'm gonna have a little play about with it because I feel like it could be a little bit better, but that is a very handy tip that you can use. She just kept yelling hurt, slapped me and choked me. With these ones, I'm gonna export two versions because I remember in the recording, she wanted the ha ha bit very nice. I am gonna export this one where it's not great, but the transition's good, just in case they prefer that. And now I'll find a better version where the ha ha is good. I know the next one we have has a lot of masking involved. So instead of me doing it and showing you how, I'm just gonna record and go through it as I would. So yeah, we'll see you at the next one. I've got four more TikToks left and two of them are exactly the same as the ones before where it's just a match cut where you have to make the two things look similar. I'm gonna get those two done and then the two after that are a lot of masking and when I get to the one with Elle walking through the doorway, I will do a full explanation of how to do that because then you can use that for your videos even if the situations are different. Right, so this was one of the harder of the bunch to do. The reference didn't match at all. So the reference was just a girl changing her outfits, but even her match cuts, you can see the ceiling wasn't even in line. So we can't be having none of that. So in this side, there was a bunch of clips of Elle and she was wearing different outfits and coming in from left and right of the frame. So what you'd have to do to do that is layer them from the starting from the bottom with your, your first original take. Once she leaves the take, you want to slow the clip down just to 0%. So that means you've got a clean plate for when she leaves. 
Then after that, you just want to put your next takes on and draw a mask around where they're going to be and then so on. You've already got the bottom base plate. So as you continue, when you draw your masks, let me click here, the next one comes on here and I've just done a little opacity fade in for each one of these depending on how fast they need to come in and there we are. I can't show you the finished TikTok but I can show you a quick preview. There we go. Right, so I'm on the final TikTok and they've tried something a little bit different on this one. She crosses in front of the frame instead of it going through. I was gonna just do it and then show you how to do it, but I think it'd be smarter me just speaking as I go through it because then you might see some problems that I face and then you might be able to do it as well. And yeah, it kind of all comes down to how well L moves and how well the cameraman choreographs L to move in and out of frame. And then that's what helps me make a good final product. So it's not just in the editing, it's with L and the cameraman doing their part as well. So yeah, let's see what we go through. First, we'll find a take. So I like the second take. I'm gonna put that one in. And then we'll bring this up a few layers and then we'll find a second take we'll like. We have 10, 15 takes here that we can go through. Let's take that clip in. Right, so now we can get rid of the audio for this one. And we'll put a mask over this one and we'll draw where you think she'll be. Then after that, we'll move these along a bit. Yeah, that's sweet. And then we'll increase the feather. Press mask and keyframe all of those. Quick little tip, if you're on PC, while you're over here on mask, you can use the scroll wheel to move through the timeline, which saves a lot of time in keyframing because I can stay here now and just keep moving this as she goes instead of going back over to here, back over to here. Right, so that's the basics of that one. I'm gonna do a little bit of tweaking just to make it look a little bit cleaner. But yeah, that's gonna to conclude today's video. I've just realized there is a YouTube edit there for me to do as well. But I also need to edit this video today and post this today. So I may not film the YouTube video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you Sunday.